everyone to GRM in this round 13 clash between the Capitals slash Spartans and the Invercargill Invaders. We are on the road yet again and we are looking to keep our yellow number spot safe and sound for yet another week. Round 13, so there's only a couple of few rounds left after this one. I think three more to go and then it is all crunch time should we make the playoffs. Let's get this game underway. Now both sides are playing in pretty much a red but it's red and black. Four, we're going to call them the Capitals. That's what the scoreboard says. And it is the pretty much red and yellow for the Invaders. Away games are representing for the Invaders as kickoff is underway. This round 13 clash between the Capitals and the Invaders. We are going from right to left as it is the Capitals who make a good start going from left to right. And um, big matches in the division game as well. As you guys know, the Capitals are in our little division or whatever you call it as well so we want to really beat these guys and keep the pressure on the top of our leaderboard so let's get into it we have 80 minutes of action to get through here today so welcome along hope you're enjoying GRM and of course thank you for joining me here in this round 13 clash of season number six not much happening of the start of the game we've uh, managed to turn the ball over and we're looking okay inside the half here of the Capitals we've Got slow ball coming way, and you may notice there's still that combination switch in midfield, which we had a good impact. Oh, that was a try. There was a try begging to be scored. Overlap all the way through the back line. Ended up with a knock-on. Terrible, terrible stuff by the invaders. We've gifted away a chance back to the Capitals, and Sheehan goes straight through. Beats that cover defense as well, but no, no turnover there. So they're on the attack through. They go in away for another chance. Two-man tackle, still no turnover. Morihati was just fantastic through there. And another break line through. There goes Johnson. Oh, no. Not Johnson. We know what that guy's doing. We've got a guy on the floor way out wide still. They come up again. They've got to score one. They do. Vergalo is in. It's, what position is he? I didn't quite catch it. He's a scrum half. Wow, we got absolutely torn to shreds there by the Hamilton Capitals slash Spartans. Not the start we're after at all. It's a great chase there. Puts him into ground. So we've had a little bit of ball to start off. Three minutes in, we're down 7-0 already. Not the start we were really wanting for the Invaders. As straight away, they come out through loose head from Dobry, who tries to bust away out of his 22. I mean, we need to keep this going. We need to force him back. We need a turnover. A mistake from the Spartans slash Capitals would be very, very good. They have a volunteer in the second row. We need to... Oh, how are we not doing so well against these guys? Terrible start by the Invaders. As... Oh, somehow he's gone into touch. Phil Muhammad. That is terrible. Absolutely dreadful. Right on halfway. He is gifted the ball back to the Capitals. And we are just giving them chance after chance here. We're caught outnumbered. Out wide they go. Right. Was that a forward pass? Must have been. They've got an injury as well, which I like. So this is looking a bit better for us. Brocky, get us out of our half. Pin them down. And let's put pressure on them defensively. I'm not liking the start the Invaders put together here at all. Six minutes in. We're down by seven. Almost seven minutes in now. And that's an overthrow at the back of the line. Out. Ooh, and Murati has just stolen that one in for the Capitals. We could have been on something there. But if they clear this away, we will go on from here and see what happens next in this, well, interesting clash early on between the Capitals and the Invaders. 7-0 is the score. Seven minutes gone in the match. Well, a couple of minutes later on in the match now, we've got a really good opportunity to set something up. We have forced them into a mistake, and through goes the banks of the inside ball from Brocky. But we're nearing the 22 and this could be an opportunity for us to put something away if we can keep hold of the ball. We've struggled to do so so far. That guy, yeah, it's going to say miles offside there. He was retreating from the last ruck, and he's not even got back. He's just turned up and made that tackle straight away. So advantage to the invaders. We want Oh, missed pass. Terrible. Put it to prayer. He's all over. Oh, we go back for the penalty, but we could kick to the corner here and really put on a good... Nope, nope, nope. Nope, we're going for three, okay? Not going to put on the, the charge for the corner. We're going to give it to Brock. And I think, yep, that's gone over. So 7-3 now. Invaders on the board. Almost 12 minutes up here. And um, we've got some points at least. But this is a game I expect us to win 
with bonus points as well. Out wide we come through Josh Evans, who puts on the fan. Josh Evans in behind. Oh, the spin. Josh Evans has he got the legs to go all the way. No. He gives to Phil Muhammad, who dots down. Bang, bang. Two points or two scoring plays. And we are in the lead. How about that from Josh Evans? What a miraculous, work, miraculous worker he is. Simply out. Wow. I say simply outstanding that try followed up by possibly the worst kickoff I have ever seen in all my GRM time. Absolutely terrible. O'Neill Brown still kicking, although we try to do what we can to stop him from kicking. Although he might win this one as Johnson goes to the heavens. Porter Depress does not get it down and he misses the tackle as well. Porter, you've got to do better than that, son. But let's, let's, let's not go over the positives here. That try was top shelf. What is Phil Muhammad doing back here? He scored a try. That's no reason to lax, as that is an absolutely terrible kick. Turn over, turn over. Yes. We've got that ball straight back. We've kicked out to the loose head prop. Uh, Sydney, what he's doing out there, I don't know. But we've we've been lucky to get away with that one, I tell you. Kick down the throat of Johnson. He returns with a, another bomb. He, he collected the last one. All right. This time, Lior pulls it in. Carter. Oh, Carter. Thundered through one, couldn't get through another. Way to Kikushi, second receiver. From Lior, he played first. Now he's right there, Lior. He's ordering his troops around in the way that Josh Evans has been playing. Why wouldn't you give it to him? He's been outstanding. Wide, Brock, Brock. Oh, he just sizzled through one. 10-7 the score. The Banks, away to O'Neill Brown. Oh, O'Neill Brown, out wide to Phil Muhammad. The wheels rolling, but not quite fast enough from Phil. Cut off on the angle in the corner. Patrisco, away to Evans. Evans, oh, gets it away, Charles the Banks. Two tries now, and a penalty. We are looking a lot better than the opening 10 minutes or so. 18 on the clock, 15-7, kick to come from Brock. Which is over, and it is now 10 point buffer, 17, 7, 18 minutes gone. Invaders, real bad start, but now we look okay. Pinned down now are the Capitals. They do have a throw, which have turned over, which I like that very much. It's through like, oh, oh no! Look at, oh, a penalty! Wow, what just happened? Three seconds of absolute excitement there. A little grubber went straight into the hands of the defender, who then got tackled, brought down. Covered up, didn't release the ball, penalty, and we've gone for the three points. Brock Bonicia says thank you. Two tries, two penalties. We're up 20 points to seven. I don't quite believe what happened. And look at this, we're breaking away through Brock straight away. Pick and go there from O'Neill Brown. We get numbers in to support him. Now we're on the roll. Out, oh, I thought we were going to go wide there. Phil Muhammad holds it up long enough to get support out there. Here's Mayo. Bumps off one, inside, outside, they keep it alive. And here's Kakoshi holding a ball in two hands like that. Big charging run from Kikushi. We're over halfway and we are carving them up now like they were in the opening portion of the match. Short side, Josh Evans. Why wouldn't you? Again, Kikushi's playing well. Evans is playing well. We've got the guys doing the deeds at the moment. Advance to Brock. They keep firing it wide. Only a Brown gives it to no one. The ball scratch free. Oh, it's picked up from Sydney. The prop pops it away to Smith. We were looking so good. We were looking so good. Oh, it could be on it's Zip ball! Kakoshi! He's done it again. It's, it's inside side, end to end, isn't it? Both sides having plenty of chances. Here come the invaders. Away to a banks. Turn. No, he's keeping it. Short side. A kick away from Brock. And bounces. Ooh! A very odd bounce, too. Well taken. You gotta give credit there to Johnson. That was a hard one to take. Here is Collis. Easy, easy. Second row is they'll eat them up for breakfast all day long. Now we're back towards halfway. Lior goes off. Oh, great pass from Carter. Through they go. O'Neill Brown. He's got the wheels. He won't be stopped because he's got Mayo on his outside. And Manchu Mayo, he puts on the little goose step. Why would you do that, Mayo? Quick ball. Out wide it goes to Patrisku. He tries to take on the big lock. Can't do it. It's there for what looks like Evans. Or is it Muhammad? Blonde. Can't tell. He's taking his time. It's Phil. Away to Brock. Brock straightens. Turns, tries to get away. Ball still there. Lior. Short to Evans, who gets monstered. Three men in the tackle. Lior again. Flat one to Phil. Out wide they come. One on one. The spin. They go for the corner. It won't be there for Mayo. And it will. How is, how is he held on to that? 
Well, the ref said it won't matter there because it got a short one. And number two for Josh Evans to score again. Another try for the Invaders. And that's three. And we are looking well and truly on top after that terrible, terrible start. 27-7. Brocky kicks the conversion. And they go deep as we get the half an hour mark. It is all Invaders at the moment. 27 points to seven. A 20-point lead as we head towards halftime. Brock Bondicio has worked some magic and with advantage just standing on our side there for a knock on. We have entered the 22 now of the Capitals. And out there is Jorkovic. Well, he just about went by himself, didn't he? Don't wait for the highlight, will you? I mean, I was just trying to introduce everyone to the situation here. And Jorkovic almost does it all by himself. We are right on halftime. 40 minutes is up, but the next stoppage in play will be the halftime break. Mayo is trying to bulldoze his way through all alone. And he is held back there, just 10 or so metres out. Lior demands more from his troops. And so goes O'Neill Brown. And the memorial season of O'Neill Brown is rewarded with another try from the great man. Right down the sticks as well from Brown. And Brock Bonicio adds the extras. That is half time. We swap ends. And now we get things back underway. 34 points to 7. And away we go through Mayo. Oh my goodness, Mayo is having a stormer. We've got them all straight back. We've got a man way, way, way up that left side. And it's knocked on from what looked like Phil. Ah, uh, no, sorry. That was Brock Bondicio. And the Capitals will reset their chance now. Defensively, they're outnumbered. Um, and a knock-on advantage as well. Just half time gone. 34-7 the score. Well, one of the most forward passes you've probably ever seen in your life just occurred, and the invaders from it have got a scrum feed. And it is put in from Lior and straight to Brock, who takes first hit up. We're on the 10 meter line. Good chance here for us to attack. Kikuchi, we look down this left hand side, and oh, Mayo! Mayo! He just thunders through defenders, doesn't he? So strong. 34 7. Remember, this is a score. We are doing well. Six minutes into the second half, and Brocky is taking his sweet time getting up, having a little bit of a, a lie down on this nice dry grass. I mean, the day it rains will be a miraculous time of the year. Here is Mayo again on the left side. A bit of support from Zangetti. Here's, oh, that was Collis in the ruck. Zangetti throws it out and through. Goes the bank. Away to O'Neill Brown. Oh, the speed of the man is what we will miss the most. O'Neill Brown gets a double. And 39-7 to 7 is the score. Could make it 40. This one's done and dusted here, folks. Brocky. There he goes. I mean... If you could do it, you'd make a sub, wouldn't you? You'd take off Brock, you'd take off Phil. You'd just rest, you guys. But I guess no long-term injuries just yet, so we're lucky to survive on that one. Brocky, he does thunder it away. 48 and a half gone. And we are down the area again. Johnson pulls it in. 41-7 to score. Let's get off the game. Well, isn't rugby a funny old game? I think I left you guys at the 48th minute. Now we're at the 69th, and we haven't had any highlights of note to speak of since then. We're near there, 22, though. 41-7 is still the score, and oh, and now we've got advantage. Knock on, was there really a knock on? I didn't even see it, it looked like a pass. Um, but alas, we do have changes on the field. You may notice Sinji Hineno is on for uh, Lior, it's through, goes O'Neill Brown, he scores a try. Well, 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 goodness, I, I didn't even get a chance to really go through what had happened over the last 20 minutes. I thought this is a chance, we could score. Let's follow it from this line out. Nah, the score. These guys are done. 48-7, yes, Hineno is on, Lior is off. Rest of the team is unchanged as it goes from there. So um, good to see Hineno back on the field. It's been a long time since we've seen him on for the Invaders. But um, other than that, we're looking good into the 72nd minute now. Uh, the game has flown by, hasn't it? I mean, so much happened in that first 50 minutes. We had, uh, what, 40, um, 41 points to 7. And now, now we go nothing for 20. So on we go. Seven minutes to the end of the game. Uh, do we... Do we just watch the rest of the match here? Yeah, I may as well. I mean, we've only been going, well, we've been going, as always, too long. But um, let's see what happens in this last so seven minutes of the game. Seven and exciting comes about it. 48.7, see if we can get the big 5-0 and see how the Invaders can close this one out. It is, of course, the Capitals who make some room down the right-hand side, the short side. Now they fire it open. We've got a bit of numbers here on attack, but we do well. I mean... Three players who took take that man down, but you hold it together. Drop goal! No, <laughs> no, not happening, is it? No, Phil picks it up, and he bombs it back. We've got two men chasing hard, and Volunteer pulls it in. Of course, second row, like we always say, you're not going to be the second row to a high ball, not on GRM. Volunteer pulls it in. Now, Vigalo. Oh, big flat pass out wide, and almost, but it's that man. 
Morazzi, who has been just superb for the Capitals here today. Sheehan. Oh, he's dropped it! And it's gone to Evans! Oh, he popped it back to Tatrescu, who spills his beans all over the floor. And we will reset for a scrum. We got five and a half to go. You see Hineno defending around the fringes there. Mayo just gets plunged at by Johnson, driving straight through his Kikuchi. Hits the man through on the breakdown. Into touch they go. Vigalo going nowhere. The hooker, he's bundled away. Now we have a line out to the invaders. You got five minutes to take it. It's a terrible pass out to Brock. Who, who was that? That surely wasn't Hanano who delivered that shocker. Maybe, maybe old, oh man, a Banks. What are you doing? Now it's turned over to right. Oh, and he just about gets through offload though. And Fan will score. The blindside flanker goes through for the Capitals. Wow. Terrible pass to Brock. They recovered all right. And then a shocking catch from a Banks. Does both of those blames go on the passing of um, Hanano back in the team? Now another knock on. This time Kikuchi picks it up. Sweeps away one. Here's Hanano. Now watch. He hasn't been too bad. He's got a way to fill. Good pass. I mean, that's great. Away to Trescu. Outside. What? Why, 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 why is that an advantage? Riddle me that. That was a try. It's a Banks. Oh, he's knocked it on. We've become Uridan. As now away comes Johnson. It's 15 on 14. Oh, great fan. Now 15 on 15. Has Phil got his number? That no, doesn't matter. He's fired out wide. Right. Oh, he's fended away from Phil. And right goes in for the try. Two tries at the end as well. It's 48-19. Kick to come from the reserve. He's got 16 on his back. It is It is the prop. Sydney taking the kicks. Well, how about that? Well, we've, we've conceded 14 unanswered points here in the last six minutes or so, which I'm not too pleased about. 48-21, uh, to one more, and they'll get a bonus point, which would be disgraceful. I thought we might be able to... <laughs> what, what happened there? It's full time. I don't know what happened there to that guy as he fell over the sideline. But that is time, and uh, that is the full time result. 48 to 21. Invaders over the Capitals. Good win. A bonus point win, which is very, very pleasing as well. But goodness me, that last little passage. Not sure what happened, but all around uh, an interesting game. Uh, some poor points, some really good points. Conceded a bit too much as well for my liking, but uh, we'll make do with that as it is. Let's look at the stats. Stats, stats, stats. 48-21, we saw the score. Dominated territory, not so much on a position. Tackle count was high, 94 to 84. We made 10 less tackles, which was good. And we missed nine less. Six tries to three. I mean, a six to one, right to the bitter end, though, as well. You've got to put that into perspective. Um, handing errors. 12 by the Capitals, just 9 by the Invaders. We look good against these sides like this, um, but against better teams, we do look a bit short of a gallop. Further on down we go, and we can see turnovers 1. We actually were down on that 10 to 7. Um, we got two penalty shots at goal, which was good. See us accumulating points. We converted all our kicks, 8 out of 8 in total. Conceded only two penalties to the Capitals, 4, which was very, very good. Um, line outs awarded. I mean, we always kick a lot, so... We always got down on that, but turnovers uh, on the line out, two each, so not too pleased with that. Uh, scrum battle, didn't see anyone go up at all, so we didn't dominate. It was just a nice even battle on the scrum front. Time in the red zone, 2 minutes 25 to 42 seconds. Big, big difference there um, for the Capitals. Man of the match, O'Neill Brown, three tries, one try assist, and eight tackles as well. Good night for O'Neill in midfield. Seems to be perfectly settled in. It's that number 13 jumper. Right, let's have a look at some stats here and see how we performed. Jorkovic and Patriscu, very good. 31 and 38, but it was Tatriscu who was average on a 15. But we can let that slide. The other two performed very, very nicely. Zengidi and Collis, uh, 24, 27, good. I like that from those two. More of that, please. But Kikuchi and Evans, 51 and 55. That is amazing. Porter de Prez, still not his best, is he? At just a 13. Terrible match there for Porter. Um, missed tackles from him. Just one. I mean, Kakushi got a 51. He had missed three tackles. So, um, yeah. 
You gotta, you gotta add it up. But I guess Kukushi made 13. Uh, Porter de Prez made two. Bit of a difference there from those guys. Uh, Evans outstanding. Lior injured to start the half time. I know there's that big passage where I didn't actually see much, uh, much of you guys from about the 42nd minute just before he got injured uh, to about the 70th minute before he scored the next points. Uh, 22 for Lior Brocky, outstanding at 57. Mayo, decent at 30. But Charles the Banks is 62. That is amazing, but only outdone. And I mean, the Banks has got better and better. But um, he has a great game, but he's always outdone. He's never the number one player, is he, at Banks? O'Neill Brown. Those two swapped around, and they are looking outstanding in the midfield now. A 65. That is a 62 and a 65 for our midfield. I like it very, very much. Carter, solid 35. And Phil Muhammad, a, a poor game for him. A 28. That is pretty average from poor old Phil. But uh, overall, great performance. Big win. Um, and only probably a couple of players who you would say didn't play that well. Uh, the sub did come on. Heneno, 40 minutes. Um, yeah, terrible, wasn't he? 13. Uh, passes were poor. I mean, that's what we were playing with all this time. And, and that's why he's not on the team anymore. He did not have a good half of rugby at all. All right, so that win is now in the bank. 48 points to 21. The Invaders over the Spartans. Um, disappointing finish. Uh, disappointing start. But the middle portion of 10 to about 70 or so, we were outstanding. And we dominated the game. And just missed out on a 50. Very, very good. We can see the other inter-division game in our group. Edinburgh Blues, 103. London Rockets, 14. So... We didn't quite do as well, but I mean, I'll take it. I'll take that. I think we're playing the more difficult of the two sides as well. So, alas, that's okay. Other results you can see on screen. We've got a 99-7 there. The Harare Rockets versus the Manawa 2 Venom. Um, bit of a thrashing. Munster Ed, 64-0. Um, big, big results coming in. 87-17. So, I guess once the seeding starts to take effect, we'll have a look at it to see where we are now. We may notice a bit more closer matches. The 76-5. But let's have a look at the table. Do we still have the yellow number? We do, and we are still in seventh position. So we picked up five points for the win, and of course, a bonus point for the four tries. So 13 games, 10 wins, three losses, uh, two to the Blues, one to these mugs up here, the Wellington Lions, fantastic side. Um, I feel still a bit guilty that you're on eighth if you're watching, um, but you know, that, that's the way the competition goes. You gotta feel for them. Uh, the Bucharest Bombers, Bloemfontein Gorillas, and the Lions, fourth, sixth, and eighth. Tough, tough to, to division to be in as well. Uh, the Spartans and the Rockets falling further down. We've got a good lead there. 11 bonus points. I'm really, really happy about that as well. Uh, so we are looking good uh, in seventh position. Eighth place, the Gorillas. Um, no, sorry, the Lions. 49. Two-point buffer there. Ninth on 48. So we got a three-point buffer over ninth, which is good because I want that yellow number. I really, really want it. Probably we're going to get knocked out first round because we'll be up against the likes of the Harare Rockets or the Toronto Talk 7th, 8th. Probably match up 1v8, 2v7. So but that's what we're looking at at the moment. Um, we are only one point behind, behind the Bloom from Tangarillas, but the fact is if we pass them, a team that is beating the Lions who thrashed us, I'll feel even worse. So 7th, now that works for me. So we'll go with it. Uh, three games to go now. We've got the current round coming up this weekend. The London Stags are at home. Uh, these are three could win, should win, have to win, but could be a loss. So tough games. Uh, Pretoria, Hound Dogs as well as Wales win. So going to be a really interesting three weeks. See if we can pull through and get the job done. Before we wrap up, let's have a look at the seedings. Um, now we're down to 78. So we were, I think, last time we looked about 88th or something like that, 86th. Slowly moving our way up the uh, leaderboard. There we can see the Edinburgh Blues are ninth. Mm, they've dropped down a little bit. But still, I mean, where's the fairness in that? We're up against the ninth best team in the game. Um, where's the Lions? I've seen them. Well, Wellington Lions, here they go. 17th best team in the game. Um, a lot of these guys, really, really good. And we are way down here. We've gone up. We were 79th, so we're 78th now. So we've, I think, overall gone up about 10 spots overall. So... Really, really happy of how we're progressing. But uh, we should be way, 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 way up there um, with some of these other sides. But, um, you know, teams in our division, Springfield Stars. Uh, who else do we recognize around here? Not many. Bloomfield Tangarillas, 70, uh, 49th. So, oh, 
goodness, they're a really, really good side. So really, really interesting um, progression here to see how we're going to go forward. Uh, maybe we'll be seeing some of these teams in our division in future seasons as well when things get all evened out. But uh, be interesting to see what happens there. But for today, that is my time done and dusted. Another good win, but three really, really big games coming up in the coming three weeks as well. So stay tuned for those. As always, thanks for joining me. Let me know your thoughts on the game and how your team is going as well. Until next time, though, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to the guys at GRM for allowing me to make these videos on the game. Um, and if you want to get involved yourself, globalrogmanager.com. All you need to do, go there, follow the instructions, get your team in the game today. That's all you need to do. So go check the game out. A lot, a lot of fun. So go have a look. Until next time, though, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you all for our next match in the Big 3 Finals. Until then, take care.